Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of my last video on the record shifting and latency issues in Cubase. So the reason of this is because I found a way that is much faster and easier to calculate what will be the record shift value that you will input in this box to fix your shifting issues when recording in Cubase. Okay, so what you will do is simply go to your Studio tab and then Studio Setup. And now you can see that Cubase will give you the actual input and output latency that your audio interface is um, inducing. Okay? So take the Windows or whatever calculator you own and do simple maths by adding the input and output latency together. So watch this. Okay, so both these values added together give a total latency of 32 ms. All right. So the way Steinberg set up their record shift box here is to multiply the milliseconds by a hundred. So you take the value that you calculated of your latency here and simply multiply it by a hundred okay so this is why in my case here you can see that here my original click track that I recorded straight in a line input of my audio interface you can see that it's shifted in front and so what I needed Cubase to do for me is to push this back in time to the starting point that is here exactly with the original sound source okay so guess what all you need to do is take the number you calculated here decide if it is positive or negative so in my case because the audio is shifted before I needed to do minus 32 ms times a hundred and it gave me this number which is the exact record shift that I need to make it straight to the point. All right, so let me recap. Let's say you found out that your Cubase is not adjusting the audio to where it should be. And you have some shifting either in front or further back in time. Well, you can go to your Studio tab, then Studio Setup. Calculate the total amount of input latency with output latency. Which will give you a total number in ms, milliseconds. Take this number, decide if it is positive or negative in timing and then multiply it by a hundred and input this in that box click apply and ok and when you will record now it will be fine all right so thank you for watching the second part of this video if you couldn't follow me please refer to the other one part one of the latency issue videos I hope it will help you out. My name is Alex for DRox Records. Talk to you later. Bye.